Research shows that if we continue to live the way that we're living, by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than marine life itself. That's why, for two weeks, I'm giving up single-use plastic! So this is the million dollar question. How am I gonna buy my sugar? My seconds of Nestum. Bread. How am I gonna get bread? My cornflakes! My cornflakes! And if you know me, I am a sugar junkie. I am a cornflakes junkie. Where will I get my cornflakes? <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hi guys, I'm Karen and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here to talk about how our environment is dying and we're killing it and shame on us no 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 i'm not gonna be that type of super freak environmental person who just shames everybody for why are you using plastic and i really can't believe you're watching my video because i haven't posted in so long so long and while you're here if you're not yet subscribed to my channel you can go right down and click that subscribe button and put a thumbs up and do what all other youtubers tell you to do but just do it to me so yeah i've decided to go two weeks without using single use plastic it's plastic that you buy use and then you throw it away and then if you need some more of that thing you buy you use it and you throw that away too which is kind of ridiculous i don't know why we've been doing that for so long anyways uh the reason why i'm doing this is because i really fell in love with a hobby that it's literally my best thing to do right now which is like diving and exploring the underworld which is an entirely different universe if you have the opportunity to dive and you're like not freaked out by the ocean and its creatures and you can swim like a little bit i really recommend that you go diving if you have a dive spot nearby your town so that you can really experience what i'm talking about it's like it's so beautiful so you should go check that out once you're there you'll start to see the amount of impacts that we have on on their habitat you see a lot of litter you see a lot of plastic you see a lot of human waste i haven't seen it to the point of this these videos but it's too much to put that into perspective like eight million pieces of plastic end up in the ocean but wait let me let me be more professional about this let me be more professional about this as i was saying eight million <laughs> no but seriously guys eight million pieces of plastic end up in the ocean every day plastic waste in the ocean like okay wait 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 let me be all engineering about this an average elephant weighs around seven tons yes yeah, seven tons max so it's 8 million tons of plastic divided by 7. That's equivalent to dumping 1,000 elephants. No, no, no. 1 million elephants in the ocean every day. Like, come on, human beings. Like, seriously, that's a whole lot of plastic. So you do begin to see the impact that a plastic water bottle that you use and then you throw away has on the ocean, like, every day. How am I gonna shop all of this without having, like, how do you get cheese? How do you get this, the wraps, and this? Okay, the chicken is easy. This is probably also easy, but no cherry tomatoes are just sold like that. Um, struggles, yeah. I pack my lunch outside. I have my apple here, and there's a sticker on it. I have my shawarmas, water, and yeah. I forgot to bring my my stuff, so I had to get this, and it's plastic. Estas pessoas que não querem saber do meio ambiente. Bro, prato sujo também não. Do meio ambiente. Não, prato sujo não. Huge fan.
fail, I bought cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's full of plastic. Like, not only is there plastic wrapping, but there's plastic something inside. So, yeah. drinks in single-use plastic cups so I got myself this let's see if they will allow me to get my drink in it so much uh, yeah yeah Ati, Ati. Dati. Berapa ni, ah? 250. so the lady wasn't sure how much to price me so she had to ask her colleague and it's usually two ringgit but she charged me 250. I had the opportunity to visit like zero waste stores in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, I live far away from the city. Like you see me here, you think I'm in Malaysia living the good life. No, I live in the jungle. So there isn't like shops around me that are focused on the zero waste movement. So I went all the way to KL and I found stores that really sell everything package free from soaps to cereal to pasta to anything that you want. They have it in containers that, big containers, they sell it in bulk. So you just take your little container. Wait, wait, let me demonstrate. So you take your little container and you're like inside and then you weigh it and then ta-da! You don't, you don't like make waste at all. And like you don't really need to go to zero waste stores. You can always just Go to your local farmer's market like Mercado Central de Maputo. Like you just take your containers and you shop everything there. Or your Malaysian Pasamalam and other local farmer's markets. That will definitely have a huge impact. You might think that like, oh no, but I'm not wasting anything. Like seriously, it helps. Oh, such a horrible day. I woke up and I don't have breakfast because I don't have cornflakes and I don't have milk and I don't have anything that is unpackaged. So I wanted to come down to the mart and get these cookies again, but it's 11, yeah, it's 11.15. I usually have lunch at one, but because I am super hungry, I'm just gonna have an early lunch that I just bought down here at the cafeteria. It's actually lunch and dinner and yeah, this is harder than I thought, guys. This is so much harder than I thought. Literally everything that is snack or breakfast is wrapped in plastic packaging. and my fruits and my stuff in here and this just goes in the bag I wanted to buy these these are silicone bags and you can put like snacks inside and everything but they're so expensive so I just got one so instead of getting a dozen of these I found these at Ikea it's basically this guys so here I can put my snacks too and then once it's done I can easily like wash it like it's plastic but it's not single-use plastic for this I think I can use it like 10 to 20 times as long as I take care of it properly and wash it and dry it and then refold it like this is already used refold it and keep it away this I use also for shopping for if I have like chicken or meat or wet stuff I just put it in here and then I weigh it and then they like put the price tag on it and then I just put it in the freezer once it's done I wash it and ta-da on an everyday basis, I always have my water bottle! And 
I also carry around reusable utensils such as chopsticks, spoon, fork, knife, and my stainless steel straws. This is always in my carry-on. And of course, I always have one Tupperware, either this one or this one, depending on where I'm going. Oh, I also got these cool things. They're something beeswax something. So instead of using, what is that called? Papel aderenti. I don't know what that's called in English. I'll Google it. Okay, now let's talk to the girls here, cause, wow. You produced a lot of waste during your period, like, Dude, if you count the amount of pads you have used your entire lifetime, bro, it's way too much. And it's, it's too disgusting, seriously, it's so disgusting. But I, I went to a store and I found reusable pads. I thought they were super disgusting, but I used it. And I used it and, and it got clean, guys. It's like white clean. So once you're done showering, you just like go to the toilet, I mean to your shower, and you squeeze all the blood out and you wash it and it becomes clean like this they're so practical and I also have penny liners reusable penny liners that I also just watch and the biggest discovery that I've made throughout this experience is the menstrual cup this is a lifesaver I forgot I was on my period for two days like like until I had to go to the bathroom and empty my cup but for the days that I used it this is very practical it's very nice it's very comfortable you can do anything you feel like superwoman on her period so I'll link videos below about this with all the information that you need okay not all because you might need to go to a gynecologist who will help you understand this better but it gives you like information that will help you consider swapping it into a menstrual cup so yeah those were my two weeks and trust me, I literally learned that the more we take the time to reuse, reduce and rethink our waste, the bigger impact we have on the environment. We shop without thinking, we buy anything that we find, but if we take the time to really consider what we put into our shopping bags and what we incorporate in our lives, it can really have a huge impact. That was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I made an impact somehow, as small as it might be. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I am no expert, so I will link videos that inspired me to take on this challenge, inspired me to change my life and take control over everything I buy and over everything I consume. You can always refer to them for more information about so many things that I didn't have the time, the knowledge, the experience to talk to you about. But I really wanna see what you have to say in the comments. Like this video, share it with your friends and family, and be the change you want to see. Peace, and God bless you. Bye.